My name is Connor Madden and I researched how the lockdown around 19, uh, 1920, was it the War of Independence, was similar to the, the lockdown now. Um, I looked into this priest called Father William Kennedy, who was the uh, uh, Canon William Kennedy was the president of Flannan's school in Ennis. Um, so I looked into him. There was a story that I researched of him, I thought, um, organising food for a, a Soviet that was declared in Limerick during 1919. Um, the workers declared Soviet, but it turns out it was another priest, another William Kennedy, um, who was priest in Newmarket. And it was him who organised it. He was the kind of go-to man for uh, Republicans and stuff like that um, but it wasn't to save the um, to help the Soviet it was to break it or so that people would remember um, so that people would remember who fed them during the during the Soviet you know when they didn't have food I'd go, go. Um, so <sighs> Um, so that was really interesting. There, there were different guys, though they were had the same job, the same name, they were in the same place. Their politics were quite similar. So I researched that. I spoke to a couple of local historians, read some books, and read as much online archive stuff as I could. But you know, um, it would have been better to travel to Dublin to to look, but obviously can't. Um, in talking to a the local historian, I found that uh, she told me a story of, um, you know, the, it was the farm labourers used to live on uh, the farm. <laughs> She's licking my knee. <laughs> the farm labourers used to live on the farm with the farmer, you know, around 1919, 1920. And there was no... Um, <laughs> there was no... <laughs> there was they had no rights basically, so they went on strike en masse in in, in the country. Um, and she, there was a farmer in Newmarket who got a labourer who's out of the gate on strike all day, and there was um, he they had dinner and the farmer kind of smiled to himself, and dabbed his mouth off on a napkin, got up, went out, and said, "Joe, look, you go in and um, you go in and have your dinner. I'll hold your sign." And I just thought it was lovely, you know. I just thought, like, simple human decency is never lost um, individually, but as a, as a collective, it can be. So, because I kind of had the intention of drawing parallels between that lockdown and this lockdown, I also learned that there was, it wasn't really a lockdown in 1920. People were terrified to go out, but they still had to go out. They still had to go and kind of go about their daily business. They didn't have the luxury of being locked down, basically. So well, so I was trying to draw these parallels and I started to think, okay, well, you know, people are having rights and the way people lived with the, we'll say the farmer, um, I read some other stories about, um, about, uh, we'll say people be in jail because of one payment or not paying the rent and stuff. So I started to think, okay, well, that's really similar to today. You know, things haven't really changed. So I started to think about the, the cyclical nature of um, the cyclical nature of of history. And one thing I learned as well from speaking to historians was, histo it seems to me that historians like love history not only because like it's fascinating and stuff but because of what it tells us about today you know what it tells us about the human condition that hasn't changed so um so yeah i started to think about the cyclical nature of history and um i started to draw parallels between what happened in 1919 1920 um Ireland to uh, what's happening now with, we'll say, Amazon warehouse workers, people on zero hour contracts, that sort of thing. Um, 
I also looked into the Banshee, though I couldn't contact the person that knows about the the local Banshee, but, you know, I will in the future. Um, but but I looked, you know, I, I read loads of stuff about Banshees and stuff, but uh, so, I, na so now I'm thinking of making a show of some sort um, where it's three parts. Uh, beginning and beginning middle and end a uh, past present and future and these three parts happen concurrently at the same time and they happen they all influence each other so it's like a tri triquetra you know this kind of ancient knot thing where each ring of the knot is continued so basically it's past present future and I'm going to use the revise uh, of I'm going to use the banshee as a narrator, uh, as a kind of as a kind of uh, fortune not fortune teller, someone who sees into the future, you know, um, someone who warns about things that are going to happen, but nobody believes them. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make. That's what I'm going to make. Um, yeah, and I'm really looking forward to it. So. Uh, yeah, thanks very much and say goodbye, Buster. Goodbye. Goodbye. Alright, thanks a million. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>